a major change in international policy. The first story we're explaining right now on CNN 10. Yesterday, U.S. President Donald Trump announced that America was pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal. The controversial agreement was made in 2015 between the Middle Eastern country of Iran and six other nations led by the U.S. under the Obama administration. Under the deal, which was officially called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, Iran agreed to limit its nuclear program for 15 years and allow international inspectors to verify that it wasn't building nuclear weapons. In exchange, the U.S.-led countries ended their economic sanctions on Iran, allowing tens of billions of dollars to flow into Iran's economy. The Obama administration said the deal was the best way to make sure Iran wouldn't build a nuclear weapon. Critics said it wouldn't work, that Iran would eventually build one anyway. Since he was campaigning for the presidency, Donald Trump has called the Iran agreement a bad deal. Here's part of what he said yesterday. Not only does the deal fail to halt Iran's nuclear ambitions, but it also fails to address the regime's development of ballistic missiles that could deliver nuclear warheads. Finally, the deal does nothing to constrain Iran's destabilizing activities, including its support for terrorism. Just as the Iran nuclear deal was controversial, so was yesterday's announcement. Senator Dick Durbin, the second most powerful Democrat in the Senate, said America's withdrawal from the Iran deal was a historic mistake that destabilizes the Middle East and increases the danger that Iran will restart its nuclear weapons program. Senator Lindsey Graham, a Republican, said the original deal made the mistake of assuming Iran would cooperate with the international community and that Iran has used the money it got to strengthen its military and cause trouble in the Middle East. International reactions. Israel and Saudi Arabia, who are U.S. allies in the Middle East, said they supported America's decision to pull out of the deal. Germany, Britain, and France, who are U.S. allies in Europe, said they opposed America's decision and that they would stay in the deal. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said his country would take a few weeks to decide how to respond. He said Iran would stick with its commitments to the other five countries in the deal, but he also warned that if needed, Iran could resume its nuclear process, quote, without limitations. After President Trump's announcement, he signed a memo to put America's economic sanctions on Iran back in place.